welcome back to my channel, Angie Perry Home. So happy to have you here. This is my 2023 fall clean and decorate with me. Got all the fall decor out. So I hope I bring you some clean and motivation and decorating inspiration. Let's get right into today's video. Okay, so I have my decor all laid out here. Bin of pumpkins and some signs. Lots of pumpkins because, you know, that's just how I love doing it. I have the buffalo check for the table. That's going to be the table runner. And the wreath I need to change out on the door. Some pillows and some more things. So let's get started. I also put out some Halloween stuff like this Boo statue. I thought it was so cute. I think I'm going to be painting it either white or black. And then I have some Halloween pillows over there. I have more Halloween stuff coming, but I'll put that up in maybe a week or two. This is what I will be using to clean the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Apple Cider scent. Very strong scent, so I'm kind of sensitive to it, but I will use it and, you know, just have all the fall vibes, right? So let me, I will be using this to mop my floors. I'll be steam mopping with this. This is for the windows. I usually don't do this. Not for the window. Well, I'll do some windows. This is also for the mirrors, and then I just have some cleaning rags. So I hope this video brings you clean and motivation. Clean along with me and some decorating inspiration. I just love the fall time this time of year, all the decorating and the cozy fall vibes. The day, of course, the day I pick to decorate, it's a heat wave, and it's going to be 90 degrees here usually. It's around 70-ish and that's good enough for me for decorating, but let's do this on a 90 degree day. I'm sure there's other parts of the country who are experiencing the same thing. So let me know in the comments below, did you start decorating for fall? I don't really have like a strategy for decorating because sometimes I just get overwhelmed by the decor. So I just kind of take my time with it, play around with it, but I most Definitely always I would say a hundred percent. I do change it around, you know as the season goes on as the holiday goes on It's just what I feel more comfortable with or what I like in the moment versus what I don't So I'm gonna do this area right here as you can tell I love silver and whites and grays and everything like that so what I will do is just Take everything off so I could dust it get it nice and shiny take away the pink and some of the silver stuff and just add pumpkins and cute stuff for fall. So has anyone ever used pompous grass? I know it's so popular. I am just jumping on the bandwagon with this pompous stuff. I don't even know if I'm saying it correctly, but I just got um, this package. I'll show it a little bit later. Anyway, I'm just saying I got some pompous stuff some flowers, grass, whatever. And I I was reading the directions. You have to put it out in the sun for like three hours, fluff it up. So I will be doing that a little bit later. So I will definitely be adding that later on in the day. I love this pumpkin. This is new. Just got it last month when I was on vacation. It's, this is handmade. Got it from a cute little shop and I thought it was so different and I just love the kind of glistening in it and the black and the white and just some pops of color on top. So this I love so much. Everything else on here I already had from like Dollar Tree or Kohl's, Target. Okay, now for this area over here which is, oh my gosh, I have to take care of it. Um, yeah, so let me do this table. We still haven't painted this white, so now it's just rustic and that's how it is right now, but I will be painting this white. We got this new kind of seating right here, this little sofa here. So I probably, I don't know if I'm just gonna be keeping these pillows on it or adding some black ones. I have some black pillow covers that I got, but I gotta clean all this up. Gonna put the table runner decorated and something over there by the big nice window. Wheels in motion 
Okay, so I set it up like this. I like having the different colors and textures of all the pumpkins against the buffalo check. These do light up, so that would be very pretty at night. So yeah, this one I got at Home Goods a while ago. I love that one. And the rest were like Pier 1 and Dollar Tree. And I just put this really nice one from Pier 1 from like four years ago or so by the window. So it's really nice and simple. So this is how it is right now, the setup. Okay, but now I'm thinking, I forgot about the pompous grass. I'm probably gonna put a nice vase here in the center and just have the nice pompous grass, you know, coming up. So, all right, this is probably gonna be, be changed. I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down. I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down. So I just laid out the pompous grass to fluff up in the sun. It says put it in the sunlight for three hours to get extra fluffy. And then you just spray some hairspray on the pompous lightly, which will help minimize shedding. that says boo. I think I got it from uh, Dollar Tree, so I thought that was great for $1.25. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna paint it black and white. Uh, yeah, so I just took some of my daughter's watercolor paint, so I hope this comes out how I'm expecting it to. This is pretty much as crafty and DIY as I get. <laughs> So yeah, I just, I'm usually the type that just buys everything, decor the way it is. I don't alter it, I don't do anything. But I felt like this is pretty simple enough for me to do, just paint it. Um, I see like it does need a few coats for it to be like a matte solid black or peg. Um, if you're looking for like DIY crafts and all that, I recommend So Kate. She's one of my good friends. I watch all of her videos and she's so crafty and creative. This is how it's looking with like one to two coats. I need patience, let it dry, and then I'm gonna come back to it. I mean, I don't know if I kind of liked it just natural, but maybe with two more coats, it'll look good. Then I'll put it by the TV. So now I'm just going to vacuum the couch. I'm not going to do any deep cleaning of the couch right now. 
uh, maybe in a few days and then I will film that maybe I'll post it on Sunday or so um, yeah so for now I'm just gonna get the pillows all uh, set up I have some new black throw covers throw pillow covers I want to put on there and then add another pillow for more of like a fall feel you shouldn't be with someone like me Sometimes I think they're right, honey Sorry for the tears in your eyes Hey, love, give me just one more try Okay, so I'm loving the way the black is very good contrast with this couch um, I did buy one of these it's like a snow leopard very soft it's very bright um, so I need to definitely get another one so I can put it all the way over there to kind of balance it out but yeah like I said I'm gonna deep clean this couch in another video I just don't have time for it today and then get another one of those pillows and put over there but yep loving this right now and how cute is this Hey Boo pillow? I've had it for a few years. I believe it's from Home Goods. So this sofa area here in this part of the kitchen, I'm just gonna take off this turquoise. Goodbye summer, hello fall. Let's put up some buffalo check and this cute little um, pumpkin truck pillow. I just want to hold you I just want to look into your eyes And tell you that I want you You know you make me feel so alive Can't stop thinking about you day and night Love it when you kiss me Love it when we touch Every time I'm down here yeah, You make me smile You're the solution I want to show you my tear tray That I did earlier in the kitchen it's just a bunch of stuff I got from Amazon. Came in a little package of all these things. I just added that pumpkin there. My first time using the decor beads and I don't know how I feel about it. Um, yeah, so that's that. I just love this. Um, even though I'm not like a pumpkin spice latte coffee drinker, but they're really cute for the kitchen. Me love it when we touch every time I'm down here. You make me smile, you're the solution. You are, 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 you are the solution. You are the solution. Okay, so this is what I just did now. Very cute and simple. Um, yeah, closer to Halloween, then I will add something like this like and you know like change it around but add like halloween stuff but this is one of the things i think i will be adding in this section here of the hallway just have like this bin under it and it's just like a cute mirror okay so i just came up to my bedroom to show you how and love I am with my egg chair, especially in the fall time. I just have to clean it off. And I found my little doggy here chilling. She's nice and comfortable up here. Okay, so in another video, I'll be doing a deep cleaning of these um, cushions and pillows and everything. All the I know you're so cozy, but I gotta take these clothes away. <laughs> oh my gosh, she just jumped on all these clothes. Um, look at this little puppy. Okay, sorry to oh, sorry to disturb you. Okay, you can relax now. 
Okay, so these I have lights on the egg chair on top, so it looks pretty cozy and really relaxing at night. So I'm going to deep clean these pillow cushions and everything. And um, this little side table here, just going to clean and then put a pumpkin there. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I decorate my home for the fall. I'll have some Halloween decorating coming up maybe next week. Check the uh, description box below for more links to some of my videos. Thanks for watching.